Welcome to our channel, where we simplify neuroscience for you in just a few minutes. Ever wondered how we react to our surroundings? Let's find out. The brain you see here controls all our reflexes, actions, and thoughts with the help of the nervous system running through our bodies. Put the stars of the show, the helpful little messengers that make our actions and reflexes possible, are these tree-like things with fine hair-like structures arising from their ends. They're called neurons. Our brain has nearly 86 billion neurons, and all of them have different shapes and sizes. Some of them have a diameter that's one-tenth that of a hair strand. These tiny nerve cells accept, process, and transmit information through chemical and electrical signals. You think of it as sending an email to a friend, but much, much faster. The image we have here is a generic depiction of a neuron. Essentially, each neuron is divided into three parts. This part, which kind of looks like the branches or roots of the tree, are called dendrites. The dendrites or receptors receive signals from other neurons in the form of chemicals called neurotransmitters. These signals then create an electrical impulse in the neuron, which is processed in this huge area here called the soma or cell body. The soma has an eye-like structure at its center, called the nucleus, which contains our genetic information or DNA. If the signals from the dendrite are strong enough, the information is processed by the soma then and put together here at this junction called the accent hillock. The accent is like an electric cable. Its only job is to transmit the signal, which is now called the action potential. The signal travels down the axon, which is covered with an insulating substance called the myelin, which keeps the action potential from degrading. The axons can be quite long. Some of them are even several feet long. Once the electrical signal reaches the end of the axon or the synapses, things become a little complex. The synaptic signaling process, a part chemical and part electrical process, is the key to neural function. Once the action potential reaches the synapses, unique molecules called neurotransmitters are released. These molecules then stimulate a second neuron and hence trigger a new wave of signals that interact with its receptors. So every time we do so much as lift a finger, hundreds of signals are exchanged between several neurons to complete the action. How fast does all this happen? Signals from the spinal cord to muscles can travel at 70 to 120 meters per second through neurons with a larger diameter. Unbelievable! Let's conclude with a fun fact. Neurons are the oldest and longest cells in our bodies, which means that as opposed to other cells, most of them aren't replaced when they die. If you enjoyed the video, smash the thumbs up button, click on subscribe and hit the notification bell to catch our next episode.